welcome to the Matisse Museums. I am Alex DeSelms, the Director of Collections. And with our uh, COVID crisis at the moment, we just wanted to give you a little update on how things are gonna look at the museum in regards to the collections. Um, so there's definitely a focus on cleaning and disinfecting these days to help protect ourselves against COVID and the spread. But collections objects can't be disinfected and cleaned the same way. Most of the time nowadays, that means at the, in the home and uh, offices, Clorox or Lysol wipes are similar. But those products are too harsh to use for collections. We tend to stick to dusting with cloth or vacuuming or even wiping down them very lightly with water on rags and other cleaning cloths. Collections managers and conservators are concerned with preserving and conserving the objects. When you return to the museum, you will be required to wear a face mask. This is partly to help prevent the spread of COVID, but also because collections cannot be cleaned the same as and disinfected the same as normal objects around your home. Because we hold our objects in public trust, we have to be accountable and transparent about how we take care of them. So, we do only what can be undone because something in the future could come along and be better to preserve or conserve our object and we want to be able to reverse that process that we're doing now if something better comes along in the future examples of old numbering techniques to number our objects um, my first internship they told me they the museum used to use in, I believe, the 1970s, red nail polish. That's frowned on today. That's not very good. Here we've seen some uh, Sharpie numbers on our collections. Again, not the greatest, but I do appreciate you numbering the collection, <laughs> so I know what it is. Um, now we have special pens and acetate that can be removed if we absolutely have to when we number the collections. These also include archivally safe tags that we can attach to collections objects if we don't or if we aren't able to specifically number them on the collection. There are some things that um, the acetate and the special pens aren't going to work well on. And so we can use the tag instead so that way we're still able to number the collection without harming it. For similar document or similar photographs, we can use blue pencils on the back, something that's not going to degrade the photograph. And this is different for loans versus our permanent collection. Our permanent collection, we can number directly on the object if the object is um, stable enough or the right material. Loans, because it's not ours to keep, we usually prefer to number them with tags so that when we return the loans, if we return the loans and they're not donated, the number doesn't have to go along with the object if the person doesn't want the number. <laughs> this is all for risk mitigation. And so in addition to specific numbering techniques, we also use stable non-reactive materials and again, the not damaging reversible procedures. We're also going to document what we're doing so that if in the future something better comes along, the future collections manager will know what happened and why we did something and they can document further that this is what we did because it's better than this previous technique. So thank you for listening to us and supporting us as we take care of the collections that you have entrusted to us.